Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 3, today verses 15 through 17. I'll read them, then we'll think about them together, and then just briefly pray. Now, as the people were in expectation and all reason in their hearts about John, whether he was the Christ or not, John answered, saying to all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I is coming, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to loose. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So that last bit's an illustration that probably doesn't resonate with too many of us uh, because it's a, it's an, from an agrarian world, you know. How did they sort out the wheat? Well, they would throw the wheat into the air and the, the hulls, the part that was not edible, you weren't supposed to eat that part, part of the part, it was sorting out, there was part of the that was heavy and there was part that was light. And by throwing it up and back and forth like this, they could sort out the light part from the heavy part and they could keep the part that they wanted to eat. So he says that God is doing a sifting like this. God is sifting. He's sifting out his threshing floor. It's interesting here, all this talk about the time about, you know, isn't this the Christ? And John tells them, no, I'm not. I'm not the Christ, but I'm here to tell you you're going to be baptized. Uh, he's coming. One who's coming, I'm not even worthy to talk about. And the Holy Spirit is coming. So John the Baptist was very clear that he wasn't Jesus. He wasn't the Messiah. He was simply the herald of the Messiah. God sends always the herald first. And God cleans up the place first. And so then you ask, how's my heart doing? And the answer is that God needs to do some more cleanup inside my heart and inside yours. Let's pray for that. Dear Father in heaven, please, we invite you in. You'll do a moral cleanup in us, that you'll help us to be right. You'll help us to forgive those who have wronged us. You'll help us to shift from anger to peace, uh, shift from unbelief to trust. And Lord, give us wisdom for the times in which we live. This, this Bible you've given us shows us how we can go through a time when people don't even know what's real. And yet, Lord, we want your insight about what's real. So thank you for the word. Bless each one. And as you sift things out, Lord, we want to be on your team. Bless us, we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, God bless you today and keep you on Jesus' team.